<laughs> don't shoot me down, don't shoot me down. <laughs> We're doing some VR today. We've got three cars to review on VR. Now, what we do every time we finish the car, we made so many mistakes by not putting it into VR. Um, Damien's obviously walking around now, like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing, we're, we've got a discovery 5.5 facelift going on at the moment now we've done the rear we did do the front but this is the reason why we're double checking this time and time again because we went to pattern on the front and we made probably a 40 to 50 thousand pound mistake um because we just built the front end too it was too fast we built it like a sport so it had speed and extended front end and then really as soon as aggressive. you looked at it yeah. it just looked too aggressive for the car it's completely wrong so we've gone backwards and forwards in vr probably about five or six times now we've got it to a point where i think we like what we're going on there'll be a few final tweaks and then we'll go to pattern on that soon is it lift your arms up like up high that's it oh yes yeah, working now now lift them that, that, that. no up again <laughs> yeah, let me have a go. Yep. Where's the car? Where's the laser? There's the laser, yeah? I think so. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, so the little tap, the, the, we've never put a tablet badge on the side of the um, splitter, and this splitter is, is not as aggressive as normal. Normally, we would come out. And then, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more sleek and integrated, which is good for the disco. Oh, yeah, definitely. It just sits out just that little bit too far. Are you getting all of this, Alex? Yeah, I, I think we should maybe, maybe just take the fangs back a little bit. Should we flip a coin on it? <laughs> yeah, all good. Distort, we, we, people who understand that it distorts the perspective when you see it on a flat screen. Yeah. It's not quite the same as seeing it in the goggles. You know what I mean? It, it, it plays around the perspective when you see it. We can't the... put the camera in there. No, no. <laughs> in there. We we <laughs> no, yeah. no, it doesn't in, work. In there, okay. It's real on there. It's a little bit distorted. Yeah, it sort of it's like you, like a fish eye, isn't it? When you're looking on that it screen, be, it yeah. It plays with the perspective a little bit. It makes it look a little bit unusual. But when you see it in there, it's perfect. Yeah, cool. Soft intro there. So this is the difference that you can see on on this screen compared to the VR screen. The VR obviously has got a bit of a fish eye lens when you're looking at it at what you're looking at in the goggles on the screen. Whereas this is in more of a visual perspective. Yeah, the perspective isn't distorted. Yeah, that's right. So you can see, obviously, we've got the main surfaces in sort of a silver colour, and then the carbon is is like in a carbon effect finish. So we can see where we're, we're going to do visual carbon. But you can see there, you see, there's a line coming back there, the line coming back there. And this what looks like mean? this. This almost looks like it's dipping. So it needs a little bit more lean. There. And what, what did you talking about also Simon when we're in VR? Yeah. This needs golloping out a bit like the Ventega so that you read this line better through here. Yeah. It's too flat through there. Yeah, so that area there is too flat. Will it will it flow through to here and get a kink well, in here well, slightly? Just, that'll, that'll wash out as it does, but this will just at that point there we'll just we'll shave about three or four mil off it so it just Oh that much, yeah. Here. And then obviously these what we just yeah, discussed will yeah, just that, just yeah. go car rear slightly. Exactly. Yeah, just in in, so you get the the recess of the of the eyebrow coming back into the car. This needs to wash out the as well. Uh, yeah, it meets this. Because if you, it's if a bit you, nasty to wear it meets. Really harmonious the... with the rest of the car. If you look at what's happening here, look, all these lines kind of wash out before they meet the arch. It's just coming too far back, so we need to just lose it around about. Here will somewhere. it will it go like that and just slightly turn it, up yeah, a little bit the, between yeah, the two? I was thinking we could try that. Yeah. So it marries up with these three yeah. lines here. Yeah. See, these are the little elements of detail that we have to go through just to, to get it right, because once you've done the pattern, and we would look at this part here, which we've just highlighted, and it, it would look ugly, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Yeah. It would. 
yeah, that sort of needs to flow up between the, the, the light and the wheel arch. So you can see with this fang, are you sure it yeah, shouldn't okay. go back? Yeah, what, about what? That's shave about six, eight mil. Six, seven, eight mil, yeah. I think if this was on the Sport and this whole speed thing, I think you, we can go more aggressive. But just, yeah, so this line, this wash here. Look at this, it's really loud now. Yeah. So you, you spot things that I don't well, see. If, if you look at this, yeah. you look at this, look how smooth that is. It's got a nice little lead in, the radius. This is just too, too <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay, so final changes. You've got a picture in the background of the old one where we've been. Yeah, yeah. And that's uh, that's obviously the sketch that you're working from, yeah? Well, basically, yeah, we drew that sketch together, didn't we? We yeah. just decided what we were going to do with it. It's, it's amazing how this vivid sketch changes to to react like well, we what's did say real. That this was too sport. Oh yeah, we, we, we could put that on the new sport. Yeah, Actually, we we'll just track. pick that up and pop it on the new sport. That'd be easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, geezer, <we're> like. <laughs> <laughs> you recorded? Oh, no, we're oh good. Only got the did you miss that bit then? Yeah. You missed the gum fingers. Oh, you got the gum fingers. Good. <laughs> Hi everybody. I enjoyed last week's video, didn't you? I thought it was really cool. We did have a couple of comments though, yeah, as usual. Uh, we, we need to touch on that straight away. First off, everyone that likes and subscribes and does pressing all the button stuff, thanks because the subscribers have taken a nice little upturn mm. and it seems like we're, I'm feeling a little bit more popular than I did a few That's weeks good. ago. That's we're, good, we're obviously doing the right thing. Well, the problem is, people. we've touched on this before, you know, you'll get a hundred nice comments, but we'll pick on the one person. And well, I'm going to address that one person now. <laughs> we pinged this person <laughs> with some balls to each other, like both grating on it. So we had one geezer say, it's not very professional, ragging a brand new customer's car. So obviously we respect our customers' vehicles, but yeah, this I, but this customer in particular well, is... He, first off, he's he bought an RS4, which is a driver's car. Yeah, he's added an exhaust and... A, and an induction kit, Plus, and he's asked us to to test it. He actually asked us yeah. to because he because he watches our videos, he likes our videos, and let's not forget he's a mate of ours as well. Isn't he? I mean, yes. we, you know, he's yeah. in double figures of cars. We've known him for what probably about four or five years now. Yes. Went on the Yanomized tour with him, yeah. Yeah. It, so we'd consider him a mate, not just a customer. And he actually said to me, "If you're doing a video on it, make sure you drive it." Yeah. That's right. We'll, we'll, do you know what? We'll, I'm gonna no. Joe, you know I'm gonna ring him. I'm gonna I'm gonna ring him. I'm gonna ring him. Can't ring him on video. No, I'm gonna no. no, I'm gonna, no, gonna, no, gonna no, I can't feel like I need to prove a point now. Okay. Hello. Geese. Hello. Jason, how you doing, mate? Well, mate. Well, how are you? All right. Now, me and Simon have just touched on this this gripey comment that we got about us not respecting your car and driving it too hard in last week's video. Could you um, could you repeat what you said to me with regards to make sure you drive it hard? Yeah, just rag away, boy. <laughs> <laughs> rag away. Because because that is only what you would do anyway, and that's what you suggested us to do. And you wanted to hear the exhaust and the induction kit and everything else, wasn't it? Yeah, we're paying for the Gucci bits. <laughs> <laughs> and and this for clarification, obviously, uh, one feature coming up, guys, this week is we've got uh, this particular customer's G Yaris GR. Yaris here. GR. Now we're very very excited about this. I mean, obviously, we've had supercars, even hypercars, through the door doors of Urban. Yeah. And I haven't seen a car get this much attention. You know, we've had Ferraris in Lambo stuff like that. But when I pulled in in this Yaris GR, all the boys in the workshop stopped what they were doing and just gathered round. It's one of the most exciting cars. Now I've already taken it for a little blat. Yeah. On again on Jason's instructions, make sure it's warm and then just enjoy yourself. So Jason, I. Are we allowed to drive it like we stole it? 100%. <laughs> so for the purposes of everyone watching this now, we have full authorization to drive it like and this. this. And we would and we would only do that with the customer's consent yeah, and the friend's right, yeah. consent. Thank you, mate. Just wanted to clarify to our subscribers. <laughs> no worries. Cheers, bye. pal. Speak soon. Thanks, mate. Bye-bye. Yeah, Bye-bye. So for clarification purposes, the first video we did on the RS4 where we drove it, we got one small couple of millimetre stone chip on the front splitter. So what we did, we replaced the front splitter. But our reference last week was, I think me saying to you, oh, we've wrecked one of the splitters. It's just a figure of speech. We're trying to film something for impact. And the small amount of video you see 
is a small amount of drive in the car. As Lenny said, with the customer's consent. So I think probably what we're asking someone to do is get over it. Yeah. <laughs> is that okay? Yeah, yeah just get over yourselves. Yeah, yeah. It was with it was with consent. It was done. Look, look let's let's forget it because most ninety nine point nine percent of people loved it. So yeah, yeah. maybe we'll do do more and we'll just like just. Yeah, if you want to drop your car off to us, we'll take it for a break. <laughs> yeah, basically. Drop your car off and we'll do a video of us driving it. In yeah. other news, I've had a little play about with this, you know, this special edition yeah, Urban we've got, Defender yeah, thing. So, so I've, I, I, you know, without blowing my own trumpet. Don't show anyone. Don't show anyone. What? That? Yeah, basically. No, I have to. No, 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 you can't show them now because we'll do the update later in the episode. Basically, we've overcome the legal problems. We've got a new logo. Everything's cushy. Yeah. Right, so this is the Yaris GR. Now, I have three questions about this. First question is, should we do some parts for it? Yes. Yeah? That's the first question. I don't know, apparently it's a bit of a limited run on these, but apparently the, the desire for them and parts for them is quite, like, quite, it's, it's quite a, big. It's a rally homologation car, like, it, and, yeah. you know, Escort Cosworth, Lancia Integrale. So similar sort of cult, yeah, 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 gotcha. That kind of, that kind of vibe, but, I, I took it out briefly and, you know, when it got dropped off on Friday, and it's one of the most fun cars I've really? ever driven. <laughs> I mean, because we, we, you know, we sort of grew up in the same sort of era. We're born yeah, I mean, this is a similar size to the Fiesta Turbo. The Fiesta Iron. RS Turbo. Yeah. Which is obviously know. front wheel drive, so you could torque steer it all but, over the place, which is, is fantastic. four wheel drive, manual. Ah, so what, so it's rear wheel drive? It's four wheel oh, so, <laughs> driver as well. So. <laughs> And when, Sorry, I, when, I, when, I, when I drove it, it, it seemed to have a little bit more, little I don't bit know if it's like 60-40, but it, it's so, so good. Um, Four-wheel drive, manual, but this one's been modified as well. Yeah. So this is our, our good friend Jason's car. He's, I think he's lowered it on coilovers. Um, he's put bucket seats in it. It's got a roll cage because he uses it for track. And what about the performance? Now this is the thing. This is the thing. So what are they out of the box? Two hundred and eighty brake horsepower. Even that. Two hundred and eighty brake in horsepower. In a Toyota Yaris. Yeah. So that's about golf, almost golf R power in something that weighs so much less. You almost forget that it's a Yaris because of the way it looks. You yeah. almost forget that. Yeah. But how much? 350. <laughs> 350 horsepower. Not only that, but yeah. he's, he's looking to get new turbos and upgraded bits to get it to 400 brake horsepower. It is an absolute machine. So I'm guessing he does a track day in this, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. this is his track day car. Obviously he's got his RS4 that we did in the last video. This is his just fun toy fun car. Fun toy car. Um, so there's one little secret thing that you just told me about. Yeah. So on the roof of the car, you can see what looks like like two by two carbon. And I've tapped the roof and it obviously feels like, we know the feel, it feels like carbon as well. But what's the secret? So this is actually forged carbon underneath. Yeah. So that crushed And what's the reason carbon. why it's not exposed? Um, I don't think they have the rights to ha call it forged carbon or, well, it, or... A Lamborghini, so Lamborghini, the Alla technology and forged carbon is owned by Lamborghini. I know that the terminology forged carbon, but other companies use crushed carbon and things like that. I so don't know whether what, there's a um, copyright. What the Yaris GR owners have started to do is take off this wrap, and I don't know whether it's lacquered underneath. Maybe they're lacquering it, so then you've got a. So, if you were to make parts for this, this is we the, could make them in forged carbon. So we could do cool a, would that be? Rear wings, seals, front lip in forged carbon. That'd be fantastic. So if people expose this, and you have a forged carbon roof, yeah. and then you do like a forged carbon big wang. What, why are you saying big wang? It, like, it needs to be. Look at, look, at, look at the size of the arches. Look how aggressive yeah, it looks I mean, already. You've it got needs a, to be, it's got to sit with a roof just line. Give, don't no, just give me a Don't just give me a lip spoiler. Roof line nah, just here. I'm talking whale, forged carbon whale tail. And just for the record, what I'm saying about the forged carbon, I know nothing about the legalities of who owns the trademark to this. Obviously, trademarks are a hot topic for us at the moment. So whatever I've said is... The, view, <laughs> the, is the views of myself and not of others. So are we going to toss a coin to see who drives this first then? Well, so I said I've got three questions about this, right? The first question was, should we do some parts? The second question was, um, how good is it? Um, I'm excited to drive it. The third question is, how the 
fuck are you going to get in this? I, I've already been, I, <laughs> have you seen these bucket seats? Right. That's the third question. Firstly, how are you going to get your body in there? And then secondly, how are you going to get your head between those two pillars? Why are you, why are you fat shaming me? I'm not I, fat shaming. You, you're you're just big bones. You're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have I have fitted in this. Uh, how did you get out then? Um, awkwardly, and you can't get out of it glamorously. But I did. <laughs> Um, so okay, you can drive first. Right, let's you go. can drive first. Um, get the butter so we can get him in. Ah, oh, yeah, easy, isn't it? This is like right. How do I get? It's not. It's not reaching. Right. You need to. You need to. I think it's at full length. Right, you need to loosen it. <laughs> this is going to take my balls out. <laughs> I can't reach. Right, you need to loosen. You need to no, loosen that. So pull that. I would help, but I'm literally, I'm literally strapped in now. <laughs> right. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. It should lock in. Pull it, pull it, pull it over. <laughs> pull it over to open. Pull it over to open. Pull it over to open, and then just leave it. And it, do, it doesn't click. It just that's it. That's in. That's it. That's it. There you go. There you oh, go. In. Oh. You're in. There you go. What about the other one? <laughs> it won't reach, Lenny. Right. You good? Right, now try and, try and grab the door. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, right, um, it's gradually going down in my in my liking. Right. Okay. All right. right, we'll meet you around the front. See ya. <laughs> Can you grab the, grab the gate for us? <laughs> Look, even just getting <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm having a panic attack in these seas. It's like, I'm like, I, like you, know, you just need to be no, able to no, move. I think I, the one the one negative thing I have read about these is the seating position with the normal seats is quite high. So these are obviously like bucket drop, seats drop and you're right dropped and, and look at I'd Maybe the, if I was going to do that, I'd maybe put a Recaro CS in or something yeah, maybe like some that. Yeah, I mean, obviously Jason I don't like, uses, I don't like all he uses this for track. So these are like probably... Pussy, though. <laughs> That's why he, he sent the car to he sent the car to us so we could drive it properly. Jason, he said that I didn't. I know you. We, you know, I, I've seen you drive that Ferrari. I've seen you driving. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. in a straight line. Come on. We haven't seen him on track. Maybe we should go. Maybe, maybe. We, should, maybe we should see him on track. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he asked us to drive the RS4 so he got the drive of his life. And then he sent this down to so we can look after it, basically. Sorry, Jason, just joking, mate. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> 
You're a terrible passenger. <laughs> oh, a terrible passenger. <laughs> no, I hate you. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is why I want this drive, because your reaction is the gold. <laughs> I shouldn't have wore this, I'm hot, I'm bothered, I'm holding on for dear life, you're an idiot. Let me have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me have a go. Right. Bear with. Because these will definitely need adjusting <laughs> because of Simon Pigeon, pigeon Chest Dern. Well, that, that was, that's what I mean. It was full on on me. Have I run out? Have I run, oh my God, I've run out. <laughs> Told ya. Yeah, see, I've got more room on this side. Very, very, very tight. That's good. I'm alright because my plus size model was in here before me. <laughs> that's look, that's on the that's on its last thing, isn't it? Uh, unless there's something at the back. Ah! <laughs> oh, I've just, oh, oh no. well, that's a sign that we need new hoodies. Okay, I'll get you a new hoodie, thanks. Yeah, look, I've got loads of room in here. Oh I mean. Right. <coughs> Let's testing, go, baby. Testing one, two. They're not getting a car review, by the way. No. But it's just me and him just giggling. <laughs> there's, no, there's no car review happening here. Like they, they, I mean, if you want a car review, you go like Top Gear or Shmi or. No, no, we're the new car reviewers. We're mate. not. We're really not. This don't, is gonna, uh, don't this hide is going to set a trend. So if you want to send your car to us two bricks, <laughs> fill your boots because we will review your car. There's no the way review it's happening. Supposed here. to be reviewed. There's no review happening here because when he was in the passenger seat, it was just him like this. Oh, well, I'm comfortable. Yeah, but I've got, yeah, but I've got and movement now. Look, he's happy now. It's all set up right. I feel comfortable. You're really <laughs> Thanks, mate. Look, look, look on his face. I told him to put his happy pants on today, and this is giving him his happy pants. What else is like this on the market? We're reviewing this car, so what else is like this on the market? Nothing. Accelerator, brake, clutch. Use the clutch <laughs> to change that. Yeah? Oh, that's good. So, what's the um, the modes again? No, we're in the right mode. Sport mode is is track. No, 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 no. Sports. Yeah, that'll Sport. do. Sport. Actually, just put it to comfort. We don't need to. We don't oh. need to do anything. Already. already. <laughs> oh, there's something coming. Oh, already. Wait there. Oh. Mirror signal manoeuvre. I feel like I'm on a driving test again. <laughs> you see? You like that little blip there, didn't you? <laughs> Oh, no, I don't know. 
I mean, we're just having fun. Like, no matter what the subscribers think, we're just having fun at this point, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? special edition Defender, um, our extreme road series car that's taken a bit of a beating in our ongoing legal problem. Um, and then we've got to think of a new name for it. Oh, oh we need oh, more, we need oh, I forgot. more. Oh. I forgot that. Oh, no, I've lost All of this lovely packaging well. that comes from Vossen. I really hope this is good now, because it's the first time that I've seen this in person. I'll show you, I'll show you. Well, then. No, no, flick it over. No, 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 no,